Hi everybody, thanks for pressing play on the video today. It is Caroline here from craftycarolinecreates.com. This is today's gorgeous project. Isn't it beautiful? It is probably the most girliest, prettiest box I think I've ever made. I just think it looks so lovely. Um, it is made using some fantastic new product um, from Stamping Up's new catalogue which is launching on the 1st of June. Um, I've used a stamp set called Happy Birthday Gorgeous which I'm going to be using a lot. It is fantastic. Um, new catalogues should be winging their way um, to all my customers as I speak. So if you haven't already received it, you should get it over the weekend or at the worst case early next week. If you would like a catalogue but have not shopped with me before, no worries. Just pop over to craftycarolinecreates.com and there is a link there where you can request a catalogue and it will be my absolute pleasure to send one out to you in the post. But um, today we are going to get on with making this product, this product project I just think it is beautiful it's just a simple box the lid slides off it's a really good size um two by two inches by three and a half tall don't need to measure it I know that um, and it is just yeah I can't believe how how pretty it is it's probably not my style but it would make a lovely um gift and you know even as a, a wedding favor if you're having sort of a country garden wedding how beautiful would they look on the table right I'm going to stop babbling um but Rest assured, I do like this. <laughs> I do like this this box and this new product. So let's get on, and I will show you exactly how we made it. So we are going to start with a bit of scoring. So let's bring in the scoreboard and a piece of whisper white cardstock. This measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. All of the dimension, as always, will be on craftycarolinecreates.com. You can turn it round and score it with the short side along the top of the scoreboard, and we are going to score it at two inches. Okay, put the scoreboard away for a moment. We will be doing using that again, but we're going to do some stamping now. So, the beautiful Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set, as I said, fantastically versatile stamp set, lots of lovely images, and amazing sentiments. This is going to be well used, I can see, over the coming year. And what we are going to do is we're going to do it's a four-step stamping pro, pro a store, a four, uh, I can't speak four-step stamping process. I'm going to start by stamping this stem of leaves, which I've already mounted here, and we are going to use the brand new colour Tranquil Tide. And I'm not going to do this all because it's going to take a little while to do that, but I'll do enough so you get the idea. So we're just going to ink that up. And then the score line that we made, I think hopefully you can see that. I'm focusing enough there along here. Everything below here is going to be the base of the box. We want to do our stamping above that line. So I'm just going to stamp this stem image randomly along the length of my cardstock. Something like that. Okay. And you want to go all the way along. So that is our tranquil tide bit done. Now we are going to build up our flowers. Now you want to stamp the outline first and then go back and colour it in. So we're going to do that in another new colour, very burst. First time it's appeared on a video, I believe. I think we saw tranquil tide on some of my Eastern Palace weeks, but this is the first time we are seeing very burst. Now let me just show you the stamp set has a little, um, a little arrow bit. Can you see the top of it? Um, here it's almost like a little arrow and if you sort of point that in the same direction it makes it easier then to come along and colour it in because the bit we're going to colour it in with also has that same little pointy arrow bit on the top. So I'm going to ink this up and keeping my arrow towards the top I'm just going to add my flowers to the top of my stems. Last one here okay beautiful and then we're going to go back and color that in so we've stamped with the outline now we're going to use this one to color it in Put berry burst away and we're going to use for that powder pink another new ink color really lovely pink it's kind of halfway between pink pirouette and blushing bride um very nice color and i'm just going to stand up to help me do this i can look over the camera and what we're going to do <clears throat> what we're going to do, excuse me, my voice is going, is just look down, because it's photopolymer, it allows us to line up perfectly, 
and fill in that flower shape. You can do this a lot even more accurately than I am, so you're not going to have a camera <laughs> in the way. So you can see we've coloured those flowers in with the um, powder pink. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to use this little stamp here and we're going to use some lemon lime twist and we're going to fill in our leaves. Okay. So I'll just do this one flower so you can see how you just then go back and fill in your leaves like that. Okay. So let's put all this away and I will do my Blue Peter moment and bring in this one which is one I did earlier and you can see I've just gone all the way along the cardstock and filled that in and you can see just how beautiful that ends up looking. And before we put our, um, our stamps away we are just going to do a little bit of torn and torn stamping on a piece of powder pink cardstock. This measures just a smidgen more than four inches um, in each direction about four and one sixteenth if you want to be correct. I'm just going to clean up my outline stamp. So I have my stamping scrub here and just give that a good clean, get all the berry bliss off that stamp and then we are going to do some torn and torn stamping um, with some powder pink ink. And this is going to be our lid. So all I'm going to do is stamp this all over the cardstock in a random pattern and just give it a nice subtle bit of interest to the cardstock. Not quite sure what flower this is, I'm guessing it's some sort of rose, I'm definitely not very up on, on flowers, although I am getting better at all things um, gardening. We are, I think I mentioned before, setting up a kitchen garden at the moment. Um, but we are now at the stage where, you know, I can't pull anything out. I'm not sure if it's a weed or a plant that's supposed to be growing there. But hopefully we will um, we will get some vegetables towards the end of the summer. Spinach is going really well, actually. I think we might even be able to eat some of our own homegrown spinach um, in a few days, which will be very exciting. But stop babbling because I've finished all that stamping. So that's sort of the the look you want to get there, very um, very random. Okay, and that is all our stamping done. I'm just going to move these out of the way and bring back in our scoreboard. And let's start with um, our flower stamped piece. And we are going to now score this along the long side. Now remember my tip to put the stamp side down. And we're going to score this, very easy to remember, at two, four, six and eight inches okay and then our powder pink piece we have stamped we are going to score this at um, one inch on all four sides one 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 and one okay and all we have left to do now is to build up a box so bone folder is here so let's fold and burnish the score lines. This is going to be our lid. Okay. It's so beautiful. It's, it's so not my style, but I just think it is so pretty. Um, very, very pretty box. Okay, so what we're going to do is the bottom, oh, one more score line to, to fold, don't forget about that one. So we are going to cut up each of these score lines until we get to the line going in the opposite direction. This is kind of box making basics, isn't it? Okay, and then this little flap that we've made at the end, we are going to cut this off completely. Okay, a little bit of fuse along this edge here and let's close that up and then we just need to fold in our sides up like this and we can use fuse or tumble or anything on the bottom piece there 
I'm just going to put a little bit on this bit as well stick that down first there we go beautiful box and for our lid we are just going to cut up the score lines on one side just like that so we made three flaps and then the same if we spin that round cut up here like that and then just notch those out ever so slightly perfect just pull that last one out and then to build this up we are going to put a bit of fuse on the underside of those four little flaps that we've made so putting the fuse on the stamp side Just going to fold those up. There we go. And that should then, it does fit perfectly over the top of the box. Just going to add that little bit extra to the box by using some of this ribbon. Now, this is the finely woven ribbon, it's in powder pink, it comes in all of the five new ink colours. It is gorgeous. I'm doing a ribbon share of this for absolutely free. If you shop with me before the end of May, you will get a share of this in your thank you pack that will come out at the beginning of June. So if you want to get your hands on a little sample of this ribbon, um, there are still lots and lots of bargains to be had in the retiring sale and in the clearance rack. So absolutely um, look to take advantage of those. Um, so what I've done, just put a little bit of glue dot on the back of there and I'm just going to put that in the centre of my lid, bring it round, trim it off and then another glue dot here. There we go, fold that over and stick it down on one side and then we can do exactly the same on the other. There we go. I'm going to snip that off there. Pop that down on there. Fold that over. And there we go. We've got a nice little full ribbon. And then just put a bow on the top. Just going to, again, the glue dots are your friend here. Put a little bit on the end of my ribbon. And I'm just going to see sort of the length that I want it to be about there. Let me cut that and I'll measure it because I know some of you like to be accurate. So that's about three and a quarter inches. And I'm just going to roll this up into a loop just like that. There we go. And then I'm just going to put another glue dot in the center. No, I'm not. I'm going to stick a glue dot to my finger. Put another glue dot in the centre there. So that I can then push these down together. Okay. And then I'm just going to, again, another glue dot on the centre on the outside. And just going to then wrap a piece of ribbon round just getting that central like that so I think we'll go around twice actually just to make sure there that looks better snip that off Ooh. this is really beautiful ribbon it just it ties and it falls so lovely it's really soft um, but it still has a bit of structure if that makes sense so you can tie beautiful balls with it I'll make beautiful four balls like this and then I'm just going to stick that down on the centre of my box with, you've guessed it, yep, another glue dot. There we go. So that's going to go there like that. And then that just pops on our box. And voila, what do you think? I think that is 
really 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 pretty little box using some of the fantastic new products you can get your hands on from the 1st of June thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it I will be back with some more inspiration um, on my blog over the weekend and of course um, back on YouTube on Tuesday thanks for watching bye bye